Chris Kimball here for Milk Street at Home. A few months ago, I was in Mexico City. We went to an upscale market, uh, and most of these markets have restaurants, and this one was just a great place. It was called My Mother's Kitchen, and we were filming fajitas, her version of fajitas. But before we got started, it was early in the morning, just before sunrise. Uh, she gave us a cup of coffee, uh, and uh, she also gave us a piece of something called corn cake. Now, this was not corn bread. It was made in a cake pan. It was light. Um, it had the flavor of corn. It was slightly sweet, but not too sweet. Uh, the first bite was good. The second bite was very good. The third bite was outstanding. I had two pieces. It was, in fact, just about the best thing I had in Mexico City that whole week. So I got the recipe. I talked to the baker. Uh, they use Mexican corn, which is what we would call horse corn or cow corn. It's starchier, uh, not as sweet. Uh, so when we came back here, we obviously had to make a few adjustments. But after a couple weeks, we came up with a pretty good recipe. Now, the other thing about this cake is you make it almost entirely in a blender, uh, which means it's about a five-minute recipe. Throw in a cake pan into a 350 oven for about 40 minutes. So let's go in the kitchen and get started with what is now my favorite cake and also the easiest cake, a blender cake, that you will ever make. To start, take three ears of corn and cut off the kernels. You'll need a cup and a half. First step is to add our corn, a cup and a half of corn, a little bit of um, 36 grams of very fine cornmeal, a quarter cup of uh, whole milk yogurt, not low fat, and one can of sweetened condensed milk. Now we'll put that on medium for about 15 seconds. We've let this sit for 10 minutes. Uh, two whole eggs and two yolks go in. And half a cup of neutral oil like grapeseed or sunflower oil. Top back on 5-10 seconds to mix. Now you add the mixture to a large bowl. Add a mixture of flour, cornstarch, and baking powder. Salt. Baking pan, cake pan. Here's the final cake, moist, slightly sweet, and after 24 hours, you won't have a single piece left.